so this is the lesson number three in the course and we will deal with the media propaganda and the final battle when the uh, thomas alva edison realized that edison electric will not be able to compete with the ac distribution of nikola tesla and westinghouse his company then he's uh, like switched to ugly things and this includes a lot of media propaganda uh, so these are the electricity that is transmission that is going on in today's world and this is all because of the genius of nikola tesla so first was the fear of thomas edison he realized that uh, his company will not be able to keep up will not be able to compete with nikola tesla's genius and since nikola tesla has also found an investor in the rich westinghouse now it is a very difficult combination to defeat so what do we do now so then the ugly tricks started then what what uh, edison's company started doing was for media demonstration he used to give speeches in media that it is unsafe and that it can kill people and that dc is very safe that it has never caused a single accident and uh, like but this is okay but he went beyond this and he started killing of dogs electrocuting large animals and whenever you do something like that it will create a lot of fear in the mind of the uh, armed uh, the public and they will not like it at all that even this can kill large animals this can kill their babies tomorrow they can kill their pets their mothers their brothers their parents so obviously it had a very negative effect on the mind of the public that is why it is called as war of the currents now one more interesting thing that happened was that uh, before that there was no electric chair so like if you study about electric chairs what they do is when they execute uh, criminals in united states in some of these states where the capital punishment is there like taxes so what they do is they use electric chair in which like a very lethal current is passed uh, through the victim's body which makes uh, which kills the victim all this is started with william camler who was a convicted uh, person and who was to be executed but what uh, harold p brown he was an anti ac activist okay and uh, what he did was that uh, he Uh, supplied a Westinghouse generator to the uh, uh, authorities of the government, who uh, they asked that this Camler guy should be executed using this AC current, which is made by Westinghouse company. And this was obviously uh, very bad because if AC current is killing a criminal, that will lead a very bad impression in the mind of the public. So uh, despite that, Westinghouse tried to stop this. because what they were trying to do is that it is an executioner's current that it kills people that if today it is killing william camler and as you can see here he is sitting in a chair then tomorrow he, he, it this current can kill your loved ones your so this was a very below the belt kind of effect and he hired a lawyer also cochran lawyer uh, to appeal uh, support the camler's appeal however this appeal failed on october 9 1889 and supreme court said that it is not a cruel punishment or it is not a unusual punishment if the person is electrocuted so that is how it all started so public again as you can see two companies are fighting against each other they are using media propaganda and spreading fear about the currents and they are also using electric chair so we should all get motivated by this because despite all this uh, nikola tesla and westinghouse did not give up and finally what happened was earlier uh, a 1000 volt current was passed through the person using the washing machine but uh, he did not die instantly there was a lot of burning there was a lot of rupturing of blood vessels and singeing of hairs and it uh, created a very bad smell and it was all over the newspaper that this is a very lethal current and this can kill you slowly painfully and washing house went on to say that they would have done better using an axe so that is how bad it was but uh, it was very good for edison because it showed the ac current in a bad light however uh, it did not matter in the long run what happened was since westinghouse was backing just like westinghouse was backing uh, nikola tesla jp morgan was backing uh, thomas edison the board meeting and uh, jp morgan they decided that edison electric will become general electric now and they dropped the idea of dc so the company which was founded by thomas edison became general electric and uh, he was ousted and finally uh, they used ac to bid 
at what is called as uh, a Niagara Fall. There was a power uh, plant which was to be established on Niagara Fall. So now there are two companies which are fighting for it. So this was the final battle. But uh, Tesla, he uh, he convinced the person that the contract should be given to Westinghouse. He demonstrated again his geniuses that how the plant will be set up, how much electricity it will generate, how many generators it will need, where all it can supply. So he convinced the people and finally the contract was given to Westinghouse. But the story is not over yet. The last bent in the story comes when they realize that because of lot of legal battles with the Edison company and lot meant because of the do you remember that uh, Westinghouse bought the licensing with Tesla so they uh, promised him millions of dollars and because of these legal fees and these uh, the fees of the Tesla it almost went to bankruptcy because but since Tesla was having a lot of OCD what he did was that he since he wanted to save his baby Tesla gave up millions of dollars and because of that act the future uh, vision of the world uh, because of his future vision of the world which is being empowered by AC current he gave up everything which was dear to him and finally uh, the Westinghouse company won it and finally the world moved towards the AC current uh, distribution so we'll continue our course thank you